Hey, I'm Ryan Gregg, the Faith and Culture Editor for FaithVillage.com. And today we're talking with Kevin Miller, the director of the new film Hellbound. How are you doing, Kevin? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, man, I got to see the movie, and I got to tell you, I was incredibly impressed uh, with how, uh, how well it was done and how tactfully it was done. Um, I guess when you hear um, that something's a Christian movie, at least for me, the immediate thought is like, oh, no, it's another Left Behind. I don't want it to be that, you know? <laughs> Uh, but I was so impressed that I thought your, your film, it was like a Michael Moore or Morgan Spurlock kind of documentary. Um, oh. I don't know if you like those guys, but I, I like them and, um, I'd have, just, a, I'd have a beer with either one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it was very thought, uh, thoughtfully put together. And I, I was curious, you know, how did you land on the idea of doing a movie about hell? Well, um, I, I grew up uh, a lot of my life in an evangelical subculture, and it wasn't something I was born into. It was something I kind of became grafted into. And you know, I remember going back to when I first became a Christian when I was nine years old. Uh, one of my most vivid memories from that summer, I came home from Bible camp where I, I gave my life to Christ. And I remember looking at my family working out in the garden on our farm. And I just got this sinking feeling in my stomach, realizing that if they didn't know what I had just come to know, they were all going to go to hell. Hmm. And the really difficult part of that was that um, my parents also kind of made fun of our evangelical neighbors. Hmm. And I knew that because um, they wouldn't work on Sundays. So my dad would make sure he'd rev his tractor extra loud on Sundays, you know. <clears throat> and uh, so I, you know, as a kid, I'm not going to admit that I'm now one of these people. Mm -hmm. So I think it's something that's kind of lingered with me my whole life. And so of course, every Christian, I think, wrestles with that on one level, every evangelical. But I think I really started to uh, it became a real tipping point issue for me in the fall of 2008. I edited a book for a friend of mine named Brad Jersak. Um, it's called Her Gates Will Never Be Shut, mm -hmm. Hope, Hell, and the New Jerusalem. And it was just such an uh, excellent experience for me because it, it introduced me to um, not only the complexity of this whole topic within the Bible, but then the, the ongoing conversation within the tradition, you know, within the history of Christianity where you have... Um, you know, vastly different opinions right from the beginning of the church. You know, some people believing in eternal torment, some people believing in annihilationism, some people believing that all people might ultimately be reconciled to God. So I felt that the film, what, what, what's, what's going on is that, um, I mean, Rob Bell, I think, did us all a great service by, by putting hell on the front cover of Time magazine. But I think when I was first looking at this in the fall of 2008, it felt like this is a debate that's going on in seminaries, it's going on on the internet and places like that, but we really need to bring this front and center because, you know, it's issues like hell that make religions like Christianity so difficult for other people to contend with because it seems to just paint this horrific picture of God. What, what I really want to do in the film is something that I think reading not just Brad's book but a number of things has done for me, which is to say, you know what, there's options that you can be thoroughly Christian, you can be thoroughly biblical and Christ-centered and all these things the Sanhedrin says that you should be, and yet not accept this uh, notion of hell um, as a place of eternal torment. Well, uh, what's the best place for people to keep up with the film and see if it's coming to their area? Where can we point them towards? Uh, point them towards hellboundthemovie.com. Right. And um, we've got all our theater listings there. And, of course, you can go to our Facebook page. And uh, we've got a Twitter feed, which is all accessible off our website. And, um, yeah, we're opening, uh, we're opening in New York, Dallas, and uh, Minneapolis on September 21st. So it's very exciting. Very cool. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. This is Kevin Miller, director of the movie Hellbound, which I saw. And it was awesome. So thanks for talking with us, Kevin. Uh, hey, I'm Ryan Gregg, the Faith and Culture Editor for FaithVillage.com, and today we're talking with Kevin Miller, the director of the new film called Heavenbound. Uh, Kevin, thanks for talking with us today. <laughs> oh, I just said Heavenbound. <laughs> <laughs> Take two.